everybody so it's once again time for story time with Lisa and just like I promised this time story this story is going to be about scorpion and the frog and we have a special guest today Lisa's sister Erin yay so here we go with the skin and the frog One day, a scorpion looked at a mountain where he lived and decided that he wanted to change. So, he set out on a journey through the forests and hills. He climbed over rocks and under vines and kept going until he reached a river. The river was wide and swift, and the scorpion stopped to reconsider situation. He couldn't see any way across, so he ran up river and then down river, thinking that he might have to turn back. Finally, he saw a frog sitting in the rushes by the bank stream on the end of the river. He decided to ask the frog to cross the stream. Hello, Mr. Frog, called the scorpion across the water. Would you be kind as to be a ride or back across the river? Well now, Mr. Scorpion, how do I know that if I try to help you, you try to kill me? Asked the frog hesitantly. Because, the scorpion replied, kill you, then I too, for you see, I cannot swim. Now, this seemed to make sense to the frog, but he asked, What about when I get close to the bank? You could still try to kill me and get back to the shore. This is true, agreed the scorpion, but then I wouldn't be able to get to their side of the river. All right then, how do I know you won't just wait till we get to the other side and then kill me, said the frog. Ah, crooned the scorpion. Because you see, once you've taken me to the other side of the river, I'd be so grateful for your help that it would hardly be fair to reward you with death. Now would it? Now would it? <laughs> so, the frog agreed to take the scorpion across the river. He swam over to the bank and settled himself near the mud to pick up his ginger. The scorpion crawled onto the frog's back, his sharp claws prickling into the frog's soft side, <laughs> and the frog slid into the river. The muddy water swirled around them, but the frog stayed near the surface that the scorpion would not drown. Consider it. <laughs> he kicked strongly through the first half of the stream, his flippers paddling wildly across the current. Halfway across the river, the frog suddenly felt a sharp sting in his back, and out of the corner of his eye saw the scorpion move his stinger from the frog's back. A detonated numbness began to creep into his limbs. You fool, croaked the frog. Now we both shall die. Why on earth did you do that? The scorpion <laughs> shrugged and did a little jig on the drowning frog's back. <laughs> Read your line. I couldn't help myself. It is my nature. Then both sank into the muddy waters of the leaf river. And that is the end of that story with the retarded scorpion who's just a jerk. Okay. This is um our episode of Story Time with Lisa with special guests. Yay. Join us next time where we will find another depressing story. The Mass Box Girl. Yes. Yes. Join us time where we learn to read the little girl spirit of Christmas. <laughs> You. It's not a Christmas spirit story, <laughs> it's terrible. It's a Christmas spirit if you are Russian. Goodbye.